Hi, in this video, we are going to start looking at how to animate the player in a 2D game in Unity. In the previous video, we looked at how to add uh, simple animations and how to uh, do frame by frame animation. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna focus on player movement. So adding a walk cycle animation and adding a animation for jumping as well as uh, for idle. So. For this, what you're going to need is, you're gonna need a sprite for idle. So either just a still sprite for no movement. Uh, you're going to need an animation for walking or running. And you're gonna need an animation for jumping as well if you want to add that. So you'll need to have either each frame for the animations uh, as separate images. So separate image files. Uh, in other words, an image for each frame of the uh, walk cycle and an image for each frame of the jumping animation and for idle as well. Or you can use a sprite sheet uh, file containing all of the frames in it for each animation. So if you're wanting to do that, if you're using a, a, um, a sprite sheet, then you're going to need to slice that sprite sheet into individual frames. Um, so if you're not sure how to do that, then go back and watch the, the previous video I made, which uh, explains how to slice a, a sprite sheet. So uh, I'm going to be using some animations that come in this free pixel space platform pack, uh, which you can find on the Unity Asset Store. So it's a free pixel space platform pack by Aiden Art, uh, and I'll put the link in the description for this video. Uh, so if we go and have a look in that pack, uh, in the astronaut folder, there's a bunch of sprite sheets containing the animations for jumping. All right, so for jumping, there's three frames. Uh, there's one for ladder climbing as well, there's two frames. For idle, there's just one frame. So it's just a still image for uh, idle. And for walking, there's quite a few frames there. Now, these uh, sprite sheets have already been sliced and they've actually been turned into animations as well and there's animation controllers set up for that. Um, so if you want to look at, if you want to know how to s slice sprite sheets then just go back to the previous video. Um, but this pack, this, um, pack of, um, assets comes with the animations already set up, but I'm going to delete those and, um, show you how to actually set up the animations. So what I'm going to do is just delete these animation files and animation controllers so that all we've got is the sprite sheets for um, the different types of movement in the game. And then I'm gonna show you how to set up those animations and animation controllers. All right, so there are basically three steps to animating player movement in a 2D game in Unity. The first step is uh, that you create the animations in Unity using either individual image files for each frame of the animation or a sprite sheet. So you, you create a, a walking animation, a jumping animation, and an idle animation. So we'll look at how to do that in this video. The second step is to set up an animation controller, which controls when each animation plays in the game. So when uh, the walking animation should play and stop, or when the jumping animation should play and stop. So we'll look at that in the next video. And then the third step, which we'll also look at um, after the, that is uh, how to write code to control the animation. So controlling which animations uh, play based on things like the speed or movement of the player, uh, or whether the player's touching the ground or not. Um, so different variables that will influence which animations play at which time. So to start creating the animations for the player, what you'll need to do is select your player in the scene, so I'm just select the player in the hierarchy, and you'll need to open up the uh, animation window. So you can go to window, and then animation to open that up, if it's not already open. And I'm just gonna snap that to this bottom panel here. And now with the player selected, I'm gonna click create, and I'm gonna give this animation a name. Actually, before I do that though, I'm going to save it in uh, I've got a folder called animations within the assets folder. So I'm gonna save all my animations in there. 
And this one, I'm going to call it player walk. All right, so I'll first I'll create the walking animation and then I'll create a jumping animation and then the idle animation. So we'll start with the walking one. I'll give each animation um, a name. So this one's player walk, I'll save that. And now we can see the timeline here and we can set up each frame of the walking animation. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the project panel and I've got these different sprite sheets here which have already been sliced into uh, individual frames for each animation. And I can find here, this one's called Astro Walk. All right, so this file here, if I click that little arrow, it reveals that there's uh, separate frames here for that animation. And so I'm gonna drag each of those frames onto the timeline uh, for the animation. All right, so it'll be easiest if I take that project panel and snap it somewhere else so that I can just drag the images. Oops. Drag the images from there over to the timeline here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is reduce the number of samples. So um, if you can't see this box here that says samples, just click the three dots over here and then make sure that so show sample rate is checked. So what I'm gonna do is because I, I only have a few frames here for the walking animation, I'm gonna reduce the number of samples per second. Just now I'll change it to 10. So I'll just type in 10, hit enter or return. And then I can change the, the frame rate or number of samples um, per second a little bit later to refine that. But over here on the project panel, I've, uh, if I click that Astro Walk sprite sheet, which contains all of the different frames for the animation that have been sliced, if I click that little arrow there, it will reveal all of those individual frames. And so what I can do is just click and drag them down here. So I'll do that one at a time. So I'll drag the first frame on. All right, and I can click this little arrow here to reveal that, show that image. I'll click and drag the second one on the third one, and so on. And we can click the play button here to preview that. And there we go. Uh, now that might be a little bit fast. So if it's too fast, you can just reduce that number there in the samples box. All right. now. I'm gonna click play to test the game. And because the walking animation is the first animation that I've added to the player, what that means is it's going to be the default animation. So you can see when I'm walking, that looks pretty good. We've got a walking animation there. But when I stop, the animation's still playing, even when I'm idle. And when I jump, it's still the walking animation. So. What we're gonna do is first just create animations for walking, for jumping, and for idle. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to control when each of those animations should play. The next thing to do is I'm gonna add my jumping animation. So I'm just gonna click on play or walk there in that drop down list so that I can create a new clip. And again, I'm gonna save this in my animations folder just to keep things organized. And this one is gonna be called player jump. Save that, and so now um, I've selected player jump on this timeline so I can start adding the frames for the jumping animation. So I'm just gonna hide that walking animation. I'm gonna find the jumping one and reveal each of the images there for the, the frames, and there's three images. So again, I'm just gonna change the number of samples, reduce that, and I'm gonna drag those individual images onto each frame on the timeline. Okay, and click play to preview that. And that's what the jumping animation looks like. Uh, and so lastly, I've got player walk and player jump. So the, the last animation that I'll add for now is the uh, idle one. All right, and same as before, uh, I'm just gonna drag on the frames that I want for the idle animation. and for that, uh, there's actually only one image for idle. All right, there's no movement. It's just one image, one still image for idle. So I'm gonna drag that on. So 
just again. I'm just going to bring this player project panel back down to the bottom. Oops. All right, and I've finished up with those animations there. We've got idle, we've got jump, and we've got walk. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that that's saved. And when I play the game now, again, just as I mentioned before, uh, the first animation that's going to be playing and just looping is the walking animation. So even when the player is idle or jumping um, or moving, it's just the walk animation that's playing. So what we'll need to do is set up an animation controller and we're going to need to write some code to specify when each of those three different types of animations should be playing in the game. And we'll start looking at that in the next video. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.